This abandoned shopping mall was once a popular and convenient shopping destination for many people in the surrounding community. Over 10 stores used to occupy the shopping mall, some of them you may recognize. Carvel, Pearl Vision, Gap, Weight Watchers, Barnes & Noble, Kids R Us, Office Max, Hollywood Tans, Farmer's Market, and Halloween Express. There was also a beauty salon, pizza shop, furniture store, 99 cent store, bridal store, and a sports store. Over the years, stores began to close one by one, leaving only a few stores struggling to stay in business. By 2015, all of the stores were shuttered and the entire shopping mall was left abandoned. In this Urbex Vibes episode, we explore the inside of this abandoned shopping mall and find out what is left behind. This is on the back side of the front door. And this is the entry. I wonder what all, oh, you know what these all were? They were glasses displays. So you could see, you know, what frames you wanted and stuff. Let's go see if there's any equipment. Broken wall. It just goes from Each store door. to store. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see what's left behind here. It almost looks like it, like we have half of a what a chair, it? you know, for testing because they would do eye tests in here. Yeah. So I'm hoping that there's something. So let's turn on some light on our phones and see. So this is new. No beverages or food allowed in lab. So this is a lab. Now it looks like. They had chemicals, like it says biohazard, right there. Yeah, look, there's an old monitor here. What is that? On polycarbonate, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what that means. I found some old contact lenses. Oh, you did? Yeah. Let's go look at them. Show, show me. Just... Well, what's in here first, real quick? These look like they are um, <laughs> exam rooms. Because you could see the um, tables in the back, so they probably had the chairs here, which got thrown around and stuff. But some more mattresses. Ooh, yeah, look, there's posters on the wall too. Yeah. Our world in high definition. They're all like eyeglass ones. Okay, so yeah, you're right. These are all contact stuff. There's a contact holders. Yeah, there's a lot of it on the ground too. Wow. There's some more posters. Wow, it's dusty. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty cool. There's tons of them. These are a bunch of, look, like, they say Versace on them. They're eyeglass pieces to put in the glasses. Glass? They say Versace. That's cool. Yeah, so this must be a whole bag of lenses. Never clean your contact lenses again. Some stuff here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. This is like a cool frame right there. One new con. Oh, I don't want contact lenses. What is this? Probably more lens. Yeah. All right. So into the next room. This is definitely some sort of Halloween store. Halloween store. Halloween bag. Halloween Express. Halloween Express. So yeah, this was definitely a Halloween store. That's cool. Interesting. Looks like they've piled mattresses and tires. 
That's definitely illegal dumping. I, <laughs> people, I guess, do what they want, yeah. yeah. You can hear animals are in the back there, too. Birds and stuff. Yeah, right? This has more in it. Let's go see. That has some oh, this is Carvel. Halloween. Oh, yeah, this is Carvel. Oh, that's cool. I haven't done abandoned Carvel yet. That's cool. <laughs> Definitely like the kitchen area, but this is freaking awesome. Black raspberry. Yeah, and the Carvel cards. Let's look at that. Abandoned Carvel. Yeah, look. Yeah, all this. All these are hidden. Look, satisfaction with the da da da. Oh, that's so cool. See, that needs to be displayed. Wow, you're right. Even down here, here's the dipping station. Wow, see that's so cool. Carvel. So much random stuff thrown around, it's a shame. You got all their posters over here. Okay, I like this thing, look, it says Carvel up here. Oh, it does? Yeah. Let me back up yeah. so I can show up. Yeah, the shape of it is so unique. This is definitely some old. Oh ass wow! Cover. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's freaking awesome. Oh, look at the wall. Can we see this? Make it fresh. Wow. Every day at Carvel. Imagine how retro this looked, like when it was in. Yeah, in right. Shape. Usually, when they put old pictures like this, they try to make it like you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so cool. We're definitely gonna have to set up and take a picture yeah. here because that's so unique. Adding Carvel to the list. Now and down in here. <laughs> that was like some bootleg zip zip. Yeah, that was a zip zip. I was gonna look down here, but it looks like it's just stuff about Italian ices. I can't even see out the door to see if the zip zip is here. <laughs> It's probably on the road though. <laughs> Imagine. I love this. You gotta love the weird stuff, yeah. This is my favorite. See, that's what I was hoping we'd find in here. Something weird and cool, and Carvel is definitely it. So let's go take a look at all the cool stuff that we found and put on here. We did a lot of hanging. For starters, this cup shower for the sizes. We got that hung. We'll get to the posters, but I don't know what this was for. Call your own shots. Flavor shots. I don't know what this is. I've actually never heard of this my Carvel at least at home and these are Italian icy squeezes which is interesting I didn't know Carvel had squeezies either looks like these are cone holders I found a bunch of cups the old dipping station tons of advertisements these would have held like gummy bears or sprinkles and stuff like that of course, we had to put a few hats on display. Here's another size chart in the back, but it didn't have the cups. We found some more stuff like the cake holders. This one has Mickey Mouse on it. This is Mickey stuff, which is weird. I'm assuming these are caps, but they almost look like little frisbees. Yeah, over here we found the topping chart saying all the toppings some really old bowls some bags 
then up here we found some cool stuff too. We showed these before. Those are all the cards. We found these like little tiny ones that you put on your uh, keys on the floor too. Now, how did this work? It just like, it's just like a photo. That they put yeah, on the cake? they print out. I think uh, yeah, like the the photo or whatever. So this definitely is the cake book. You can see they have all. Oh my god, I remember Kipper. I'm old, man. <laughs> Those are old. Clifford! This is an old thing, huh? But, uh, yeah, and in the back it showed some, but it was like all the way in the back. Now this... Now this has a year off, um, August 1st, 2012. That was when this card would have expired, or this event. So, this definitely closed around probably 2011, 2012. Yeah. yeah. So that's a long time. Yeah. <laughs> that's potentially 10 years of decay. Yeah. And then over here we got another size chart. And again, advertisements for this um, Italian ice stuff, which I don't know if that's because like they're franchised a lot of the time. I wonder if they can do their own promotions and they did ICs, but at home they never have that. Um, of course, we, we hung up all the stuff we found. There's so much. There's just flavor things, posters for Mother's Day, Father's Day, showing the whale guy, of course, the famous whale cakes. Some other posters. This one's got an old Carvel on it. It's pretty cool. Got some more over here. Sunday stuff. I tried to fill in the empty space. And over here you got Girl Scout cookies flavored shakes. We found a Carvel bag and filled that in there with some more Carvel hats. There's like a bunch of them. They're all just like laying out on the floor. At first we thought they were bags, but they're actually hats. So we think this is freaking so cool. I never thought that we were going to be finding a abandoned Carvel today. We didn't even come out here for this. Again, random find off the side of the road. No idea we were gonna find this today. Those are the best ones. They have the best yep. surprises like this. I love it. So freaking cool. So glad we can show you guys this stuff. And of course, make sure to check our Instagram for the pictures. We got the hats on, gotta check it out. She's trying to get a zoomed in video for y'all. There's a cop car right outside, undercover. What's this? Is this a tanning salon? <laughs> yeah, this is a f***ing tanning salon. These are all tanning beds. Oh, here's like a beauty section. Yeah, these are all f***ing tanning beds. Oh my god. I'm gonna start cursing because I get excited. Yeah! These are the thing, you like step inside them things or something like that. These are scary. I've never like been in one. All I think about is Final Destination. See, like, look, all the bulbs are in here. Wow, so somebody up and left this place and was like, I'm going to leave all these machinery pieces behind because look how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's almost twelve tanning beds in here. It says tanning. Yeah, Hollywood tan. Wow, yeah. Have a fancy chair here. That must have been their check-in area. How freaking cool. What a cool mixture of stuff. See, this is why we love shopping centers. Big couch. And a bunch of random stuff. TV. 
Now, a lot of people, especially people that are photographers and stuff that are into the same thing as us, they would bypass this because it looks so decayed from the outside. But you never know how it looks on the inside. You know, there is a lot of decay, but it's pretty cool. Now, a lot of people, especially people that are photographers, Whoa. Stuff that are into the same thing as us. Definitely is a pizza shop. You can see all the chandeliers. Look, counter, all the equipment. Yeah, so I was just saying. Looks like people have tried to put some things on fire, though. Here's a bunch of to go stuff. And they lit it on fire here. So, this is definitely the brick oven place brick oven pizza. Let's look in the kitchen area. What the hell is that? It's like a coal here, like, here's like the coal, or whatever. Vertical broiler. That's the menu. Yeah. Found the menu on the floor. Bravo. Mediterranean Tavern. So this isn't the pizza place. Yeah, it is. Oh, pizza. Okay, so they. Weird. Okay, Greek yeah. place with pizza. Nice. There's still like food. Like, what is all this stuff out here? Oh, oh that's. This peas. chickpeas. Yeah. A bunch of chickpeas. Oh, Ew. Ew. Look at all that. Be careful when you step. I don't know if you want to put your shoes through these, Look, but this is where it's the grease. Lamb would be. I mean, like... Yeah, the, like the lamb thing. Yeah. Here, let me step back here so you don't have to sacrifice your shoes. This is like a fridge, something like that. Let's jump over this. And you got a cash register back here. And the kitchen. Yeah, you might be able to get through that way. Here's the register. I guess it's for their uniforms. There's no print on them. It says it's a salon. I can see from the inside door here. It says salon on it. Whoa. Oh wow, pedicure chairs. Just like our other uh, abandoned shopping center. That's so cool that they're still left behind. I guess they're too big, you know, like, how are they gonna take them out? This is a big open space. Oh, look at this. This is like a fake display? Oh, this is like a kitchen. Yeah, this is like a fake kitchen. It's probably an old furniture store, remodeling store. You can see, like, this was probably a room on display. Cool. Yeah, you're right. Look, all different rooms. I guess you would have came here to pick your cabinet tree and stuff like that. Carl's appliances. How did they get this? <laughs> oh my God. That thing's heavy as hell, too. Okay, you see that right there? Yeah, is it gated? It's close to the woods. Oh, let's go. <laughs> what if I just trail through? There's a trail. Yeah, Look at that. What the hell? Ooh. Okay, we just got out of there. He's still there. It's just, <laughs> we got around him. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and make sure to check him out.